My biggest fear with a video like this is that I come off like some uncaring, heartless jerk or something like that. But honestly, I'd rather have you hear the truth from me either way. Hey, Biscuit, how's it going? How was your day? Huh? Yeah, look how cute you are. Yeah. Hey, Daisy. Get a little afternoon snack? All right. Enjoy some of that, whatever that is. Looks like peas and carrots. So the original plan was for us to get buff Orphingtons. That's the breed that Sarah and I had selected, but unfortunately they weren't available when the time was that we wanted to get them purchased. So we ended up going with these big red broilers, which is fine, except for they're just not gonna work out the way that we want. Hi Fred, so how was your day? Huh? God, you guys are just all over the place. They're so big and dumb, they can barely get themselves outside, let alone to get a drink of water. And I hate to use the word dumb. Honestly, everybody I've talked to that owns chicken says they're so dumb. I really don't think so. But these things, these things aren't even chickens, basically. I mean, some of the stuff they do is just ridiculous. One of the things that we noticed early on was they don't even perch up here at night. They're so lazy, they just sleep down on the ground. Just in a huddle down in the poop while they poop in there. I mean, look at this. They've turned the nesting boxes into basically a litter box. Disgusting. In the last month or two, we've only gotten one good egg out of them. Um, I don't think they're eating any of the eggs or anything like that. I think literally they've produced one egg the entire time that we've had them. So that's not going to help us create a flock anytime soon. All right, you better hurry up. It's almost bedtime. Don't be bugging the cat. Get going. Hey, Lucky. All right, you're with your friends. Hey, I brought you a little bit of a treat here. There you go. Hey, Pretzel, get out of there. There you go, Lucky. Good to see you with your friends, buddy. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, you guys need some food. We can fix that. Hey, Vivian. All right. Good to see you. Hey, you get in there and get some too. You know, on the flip side, they are a pretty sizable bird, so they're going to make a heck of a meal and surely they're going to fill up the freezer. So if you're looking for a bird or a breed that can do that, I think that's a pretty good breed. What do you think? Huh? We're not going to harvest them this minute, don't worry. All you crackers inside already? All right. It's like a feeding frenzy over there. You know, and the fact of the matter is that with these particular meat birds, it's basically 12 weeks and then you harvest them. Um, we're well past that now at this point, and that's fine. You know, I'd, I'd prefer to not have to process them in the winter but I think that's probably what we're gonna end up doing and hopefully we can get a flock of buff Orphington started and and get things rolling for the year it stinks that you have to learn these types of lessons but you kind of have to go through the trials and tribulations in order to understand exactly what uh, what you're gonna need to do you know we've had lots of failures on the farm this isn't the first time that we've gone through something like this but it's just a bummer and you know it it's not the animal's fault or anything like that. That's just what they were bred for. So. Yeah, you're going to taste good. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching today. If you feel like you got anything out of this content and would like to see more of our stuff, uh, check out this video right here. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>